and welcome back peeps to the final part of let's play Discworld 2 missing presumed right what we want to do first we want to go back to bone stock as there's something to collect here and we want the cork out of this hat it's going to be useful there we go right now we want to go to jelly baby now because there's someone we need to see here Okay. Now, oh, the vultures are still following us because we've still got that rotten arm. Now, if we hang around here for a while, he should show up, the guy who we're waiting for. Now, I'll just click around a little. It takes a wh ah, there he is. So I say it takes a while for him to show up. But there he is. Right, now that guy is the prospector. And this prospector happens to know the way to the Fountain of Youth. Funny looking horse. <laughs> right. A pair of saddlebags. Paired, of course, so you can lose twice as many articles as if you were carrying a single. <laughs> Now let's have a look in his saddlebags. Hey, look, a canteen! Always useful. Right, mm -hmm. so we take that, and what we want to do is we want to put the rotten arm that we've been keeping in the saddlebags. And there's a reason for this, and you'll see what it is. There we go, see the vultures start following him. So all we've got to do is follow the vultures. There he goes. All across the desert. Like so. Across the mountains. There it is. And that's where we want to go. The Fountain of Youth. Have a look. There's lots of sand in the bottom. The water is spurting up through a little hole in the base. Can we drink some, I wonder? I can't hold water in my bare hands, and I'd only get wet trying to get some sand. Oh, all right. I thought he would, like, do the cartoon thing. We'd stand over it and go glub, 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 and just swallow a load of it. Right, we'll put some in the canteen. There we are. Always useful. There we are. Got some for ourselves now. Mm -hmm. Now, we'll stop the water flow with this cork. Yeah. And we'll use the hourglass on the sand. Give him more time. And give him more time. Lots more time. There we go. There you are, Death. <laughs> I love it. Gratuitous 3D scene. <laughs> oh, where's his head? There we go. He's back. Death is back. Oh, Rinsman's not looking so good. He 
is sleeping. Oh dear. Whoop! Whoop. <laughs> Nicely done. Oh damn. I forgot to shout four. <sighs> Epilogue Queen Kong Showing the end of the movie. Oh. oh, I don't think they like that. Wins wind. Quick wins wind gets splicing. The Elven Queen worked last time. Let's do it again. This isn't good. Oh dear, she's got the librarian. <laughs> In a massive switch around, she's got the monkey. Not sure whether they spent enough on the script for this movie. It seems to be all just special effects. Hmm? Is it intermission yet? I was hoping for something nice and sticky on a stick. The only thing sticky around here is this finale. Get on with it! <laughs> okay. Right. Okay, we want to talk to Dibbler first. Bladders! Get your bladders here! Only a groat apiece, and even then I'm cutting my own throat. Bladders? Are you taking the pi- <laughs> Bladders? Bladders, my friend. A rustic forerunner of the more familiar rubber balloon, as enjoyed by children. This is absolutely true. Who says computers aren't educational? I've got sheep bladders, vole bladders, moose bladders. You want a bladder? I'm your man. You know, I believe you. You can do other things besides blow them up, you know. Oh, dozens of uses a good bladder. Although, right now, I admit I can only think of uh, one or two. Uh, well, uh, one, really. All right, give us some, right. then. I'd like to buy some bladders, please. Certainly, Squire. Now, then, what sort? We've got your rats, uh, your vole. Oh. That's the field vole, meadow vole, and the killer clatchian vole. The killer vole? Oh, yeah. You know the ones. Six feet long, covered in poisonous spines, with incisors like chisel blades. But I thought voles were sweet little things, you know, small and brown and covered with fur. Not these ones, sir. Take your arm off in an instant. They've levelled old continents, obliterated ships filled with puppies, baby kittens and innocent nuns. <laughs> Wait a minute. These look like sheep bladders. It comes to something when a poor sheep is finding its essential organs floating around as kiddies' balloons. Sheep, <laughs> sir? Never, sir. 
Catch me arming sweet little creatures with curly wool and big brown eyes? Nah, not on my life. Cut me own throat if I tell a lie. These have been taken from Clatchy and Voles, a life form so foul, sir, so venomous, so putrid and psychotic that the hunters, sir, the hunters were all awarded medals for services to humanity. Clatchy and Voles is like rabid sharks on legs, sir. Oh, well, that's all right then. In that case, give me some of them. Right you are, Squire. I just hope they had time to go to the lavatory first, though. There we go. Right. Now, we want to fill these up with water. There we are. Right. And we want to put them in Rincewind's inventory. It's going to use them. Right. Let's have a word with Granny Weatherwax. She should have some knowledge on this subject. There, young man. Having a good day? This is clearly some attempt at sarcasm. <laughs> Are you sure this is where you want to be? I mean, it's not exactly safe, is it? I don't know. The safest place seems to be wherever you are. I heard all those comments you made about the animation budget, you see. She's right there, you know. <laughs> right, let's look at this raven here. Pretty Polly. Right. That should give us the raven option. You can swap mines with this raven, can you? Yes, I'm very good at it. Oh, go on. You can't possibly manage to put all your knowledge and experience into that tiny little avian brain. Ha! <laughs> of course I can. Just watch. Oh, there we go. <laughs> what a clever woman. Clever, yet oddly duff. Mm-hmm. Yoinks and away with the broom, peeps. There we go. Yoinks and away. Bladders, get your bladders here. <laughs> Off we go. Woo. Careful. are supposed to rest in peace, you know. Run! It's a falling giant woman! Whoop. And that's another thing. In my day, girls were sweet, demure little thing. Not 60 foot tall monsters like you apparently get now. And I'm also pretty sure that in my day, they all actually wore something under the... Oh. Sometime later. So, it's you at last, is it? So where do you think you've been? Sorry, it's been a bit of a confusing week. Confusing? I've been undead since half past ten on Tuesday morning. I mean, I wouldn't complain, but I lost 17 pence just on blowfish since I died. You'd think the afterlife would be cheaper, wouldn't you? Well, I've said sorry, haven't I? <laughs> Come on, let's have a curry before we go. My treat. Oof. Ah, well, all right, that uh, is rather decent of you. Oh, that would be lovely right now. I love curry. By the way, I tried strangulation, drowning, poison, traffic accidents. I even listened to improvised jazz music. But that just made me wish I was dead. <laughs> or that the musicians were dead at any rate. How did I finally manage to go? You got sat on by a giant elven queen. Now <laughs> there's one I never thought of trying. Still, if you gotta go... Ha! Yeah! <laughs> ah! And there we are, peeps. The end. Rincewin saves the day. Once again, I said I'd leave this till the end, There's and here it is. You're always welcome. Oh. It's as nice as it can be. Yes, it is. Everyone can get in because it's absolutely, absolutely free. free. That's death. death. 
Yes, it is. Well, this has been a very enjoyable journey. I've wanted to do this one for ages. So, with having said that, it has been wonderful. I have been Pixie Poison. This has been Disworld 2 Missing Presumed. And I shall leave you with this wonderful song to finish. And I'll see you guys in the next Let's Play. So, ciao for now, peeps. Simply join them on the other side. That's death. Say farewell to all your bills. Rip up all your wills. And pop your final pills. Amen. That's death. It's a tate a tate with fate. If you're not feeling great. Then it's the best way to lose weight, mate. Nothing here to hurt you. No one's here to nag. Come die with me if your life's a drag. Who died?